Okay, so our practice problem is what is the force of gravity between a planet with a mass of 4.00 times 10 to the 26 kilograms and another planet with a mass of 2.00 times 10 to the 25th kilograms? The distance between the two planets is 5.65 times 10 to the 9th, and that should be in meters. Okay. Um, we're going to use guess. So first thing, um, just so that we can visualize what's going on here, we have two planets, and we're measuring the distance uh, by center of mass to center of mass. So just so you can see what we're using for distance, it's center of mass to center of mass. So what is mass one? Yeah, 4 times 10 to the 26th. Oh, there's a highlighter there is. So it's 4 times 10 to the 26th for mass 1. What would mass 2 be then? Yeah, 2 times 10 to the 25th kilograms. Okay, and my distance? Yeah, 5.65 times 10 to the ninth. Meters. And what's G, everyone? Our gravitational constant, what is that? at the top of your paper. Yeah, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared over kilograms squared. That is a constant, so that's always going to be the same number. So it's 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newtons times meters squared, and I'm going to put the kilograms squared on the bottom as a denominator for that just to keep track of it. And what are we trying to calculate? Force, Force of? Gravity. Gravity. There we go. All right. Now, does anybody have any questions about where these values are coming from? Okay. So, so far, so good. If you do have any questions, please stop me as we're going through, though. Now we're going to write our formula without anything yet, just as a reference. So Fg is equal to our g constant times mass 1 times mass 2, and that is all over distance squared. Are there any questions so far? Okay. So now we're going to plug in our values. So we don't know what FG is. So we'll leave that as FG our gravitational constant, and I'm going to put this in the numerator so that we can keep track of things, numerator, denominator. So it's going to be 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared, and then the kilograms squared I'll put into the denominator of this like that. Okay, then my mass is 4.00 times 10 to the 26th kilograms, 2.00 times 10 to the 25th kilograms, and that is going to be over your distance squared. So I'm going to write it as two separate numbers multiplied by itself. So 5.65 times 10 to the 9th meters times 
times 10 to the ninth meters. It looks very complicated, yes. But I'm telling you that when we break this into doable parts, it is not that bad, and you'll see that. Okay. We are going to solve for the numerator first. So we are not going to pay any attention to units. We're not going to pay attention to the denominator. We are just looking at the numerator first. Okay? So my numerator is 6.67. times 4.00 times 2.00 and that equals 53.36 I did not no I have a calculator oh, okay. I was like, yeah geez. now that those are the decimal values from all of the numbers in the numerator okay so 6.67 4 and 2. Okay, so I'm just multiplying those right now together. And now what do I need to do with the exponents? Add, Add them together, yes. So our exponents are what? <laughs> okay, so negative 11 plus 26 plus 25 gives us? Forty. All right, so we have our decimal. That's fifty-three point three six times ten to the fortieth. That is the answer to our numerator. Not so bad, right? Okay. We are going to combine that with our denominator now. So our denominator is 5.65 times 10 to the ninth times 5.65 times 10 to the ninth, which is a multiplication problem in itself, right? So I, I want to get that down to just one value of scientific notation. So how can I change 5.65 times 7 to the ninth times 5.65 times 7 to the ninth? How can I do the math on those? What do I do? How do we multiply two scientific notation numbers? Uh, you uh, first you divide and then you... Uh, divide? Multiply, then you divide. Oh, uh, you... I was... Okay, so 5.65 times 5.65 is 31.92. And that is times 10 to the 18th, yes. And then we'll put our numerator back up there so we can keep working with that. All right, so there's our problem. So what do I do first? All right, so I'm dividing what? So your decimal value is 53.36 divided by 31.92. So 53.36 divided by uh, 31.92 gives me 1.67. And now what do I do? What? Yes, 40 minus 18. I don't add them, right? No, because it's division. Bingo. It's a division problem, so we subtract the exponents. 40 minus 18 is? 22. Okay. So we just figured out that our answer is 1.67 times 10 to the 22nd. Now we're almost done. Now we just have to do math on units. So we're going to plug in the units 
into the formula and ignore the numbers. So all we're gonna be working with is units. Okay, so I'll show you how that looks. We're gonna put the Newtons times meters squared, and that's gonna be over kilograms squared times kilograms times kilograms. And that's gonna be over meters times meters. Okay, let's recap. This is basically our formula without the numbers. Okay, I just took all the numbers out, I left the units, that's all I did. I can do math on these units. What can I cancel out? I can cancel out these two kilograms with the kilogram squared. What else can I cancel? The meters. The meters. What am I left with? Newtons. What am I solving for? Force of, gravity. Force of gravity, which is measured in? Newtons. Newtons. So that is good. I ended up with the unit that I was supposed to. So now we just put everything together. 1.67 times 10 to the 22nd, power. To the 22nd Newtons. And that is your answer.